Rubí, ¿cómo estás? I'm feeling good. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Machín, machín. Oye, so, más o menos, ¿qué es lo que haces tú? ¿O cómo de qué te conocen? Um, well, I mean, if you ask people how they know me, I mean, if you look at me, like at first sight, I don't look like a bruja. <laughs> But it's it's been a lot of work to kind of explain to people what I do, especially when you cross the border. You know, ¿a qué te dedicas? <laughs> oh, sí, sí. Yeah, and it's like, I read cards, and it's funny because I've even had people at the customs will be like, oh, really? Can you read me right now? And I'm just like, oh. Um, but technically, um, se puede decir como una persona espiritual, espiritista, because I know a lot of people that are kind of like practice their religious practices. There's so many. Um, you know, those specifically go by soy santero, este, soy uh, palera, este, soy, estoy con la santísima. They, they'll go off and... Um, you know, that's how they represent themselves. Um, but me, specifically, I just pretty much go by, you know, Spiritista because um, the way I work, I try to just use the basics first and then, you know, go off from there because there's it's just a very complex thing to be spiritual. And uh, a lot of people that grow to understand how it works What, know what I'm trying to say right now by saying that there's universal truth. O sea, pues, mira, puedes ser cristiano, católico, este, no importa, budista, um, but hay ciertas verdades that just go into everything. So that's why I tell people, no, pues, este, soy una, una guía espiritual, espiritista, y así. How can you tell, or how could I tell if somebody is really like legit, legit or not? Um, I feel like one of the first things is trust your instincts, trust your guts. Like, um, you know, the first thing, you know, do I feel comfortable with this person? Mm -hmm. And it's funny because it's just basic understanding of like how you feel with yourself with a person. Just because they know or they say they're spiritual, they're still a person. So if you feel comfortable with that person, and you feel like they're in tune with you, like they're they're actually understanding you, you know, that's the first thing you want to consider. And then from there also, um, this is like a 50-50, porque yo sé que mucha gente, ah, pues mira, este, me, me la recomendaron, ella, ella estuvo así y ahora está así. You know, it's that that's also another really, really common, like, ah, pues es que ella fue con ella, mm -hmm. y ahora está mejor, o le fue muy bien. But that can go so many ways, because, There's people that um, don't follow certain guidelines or rules that they're told by their their spiritual guide, their bruja, the bruja, and you know, it ends up another way. Another thing to see if that person is is legit is just kind of really just paying attention to what they're doing and they're explaining to you things. Um, one of the main reasons why también como me interesó mucho ayudar a las demás personas because one thing is to know this and do it for yourself, for your families, for your loved ones. Y otra cosa es como ayudar a la gente. Y one of the main reasons was because it's hard to find people that sí, sí. genuinely want to help you. Want to help you, exactly. Not just like pagar a feria, you know. Andale. I mean, no. and, and it's, oof. I mean, I've, I've been lucky enough to meet so many different people that are involved in this. And it's just crazy how a lot will literally sell themselves, like, and not care about people's feelings. Like, they become so bitter. And... They just don't care, but that's where they fail themselves as a spiritual person because it's como, pues, eventually it's going to catch up to you. Te puede ir super bien. Ahorita, jodiendo, fregando la gente, ¿verdad? Se puede decir. Pero todo, mira, what goes around comes around. La verdad siempre sale al flote, da como quiera. It does. Okay. Oye, y cómo comenzaste tú? How did you find your spirituality? How did you find yourself to be like, como, I'm in tune with this or... Um, so I get that question a lot, especially when I've gotten on TikTok Live, like people will ask me like, how did you start? How did you really like get into everything you do? And thank you. <laughs> um, one of the things is that I growing up was kind of a nerd, <laughs> but in a way that things just made sense to me. 
and it's like saying okay um as a kid you're gonna ask yourself questions like why is the grass green or why does the raindrops fall this way or just like silly questions and i would always just answer myself and i thought oh it's probably because i'm just a nerd and i just understand um how things work I'm just smart, I guess. Um, but, you know, as I started growing up, I was introduced by a lot of things. I was actually raised Catholic. I went to CCD. I went to all that. Um, I would go to La Basilica de San Juan all the time. I had my baptism, my communion there and everything. Um, then I went to a Christian school. I met a lot of type of, I met all kinds of missionaries because there's like different types of Christianity, I guess, because some people are some Pentecostes, sí, sí, person, so, like Baptists and all that. So I got to know a lot of people, but I mean, así como conocí de eso, también things would, other things would pop out, like la, las brujerías y que esto y que las cartas y que es esto, whatever. Because I was really strict, I wasn't really like allowed to look, like I was raised, that's a whole other story like of, of my life, but I was really super strict. So I wasn't allowed to see almost anything, right? Vivía una, una casa, una jaula de oro, así le digo. <laughs> Pero, es, obviously, we grow up and then we get to know more stuff. And I realized, you know what? Este, me empecé a juntar con más personas and, and I started to meet more people that were into this. And they would actually be really freaked out with me because I understood completely what they were doing uh, without having, like, have practiced it. And I think at, at this at this time, I was probably around 14 and um, 13, 14. And uh, it was just like, it just made sense. You so know, naturally no más. yes, it just made so much sense. Oh, you know what? I feel like this goes with this. And there's some things that, you know, you would probably learn like in science or some things you would just from so many little things that I add all together. It so many things spiritually make sense to me. And I it just I started developing it a lot more. Lo único que sí, um, así como ayudando a las personas, I didn't really take that decision fully until about, um, I want to say, about five years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was really hard because me, as, as me, this Ruby, me individually, um, I take all, all this to heart, you know. Um, it's actually something that I was told by a pastor like when i was in uh, christian school and all that and they told they told me like you're gonna you are meant to be a leader you're meant to be this like um you're you're really in touch like con el espíritu santo y todo eso like you're just really empathetic with people and um you know it was just hard because they said, okay i don't want to fail people that's the scariest thing that a lot of I feel like a lot of spiritual people and I'm not trying to talk bad about anybody um, they don't consider that they think I'm good at it I'm just going to do it in charge but at the same time like it's people's lives sí, sí, sí. Pues, porque hay gente que they really go look for an answer ¿verdad? or yeah. a solution I, and I'll be on TikTok and uh, <laughs> the question me está engañando was he with somebody else and I'm like ay no que digo <laughs> like Porque I could find out, it, you know, and, yeah. and here's the thing, though, like me, how I work, I sometimes I feel like people need to understand there's no direct yes and there, there's no direct no. And I feel like that's why a lot of people get referred to me. Um, I did have a couple clients tell me it's because tú explicas muchas cosas que otras personas like les da hueva platicarte o explicarte bien, uh, bien. You know? Or they pretty much don't have it. ¿Me entiendes? They Eso don't también. have the, 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 the site, ¿me entiendes? O por decir verdad. Yeah. O they're just like, ok, sí va a regresar. You know, y ya. Bye. Give me my $50. dollars. Sí va a regresar, give me my $50 dollars. No, hombre, pero it's like, no, there's, there's a lot to it. Yeah, yeah. Why? How? But this needs to be considered. And this is how he's feeling. And this is how you're feeling. And no, hombre, ok, and this is probably a um, bean of me, I guess. But I just love to put people in their place sometimes. Like, I feel like that's a privilege that I have that mm -hmm. I don't want to abuse. I'm not saying that, ay, si quiero decirle a la gente sus cosas. Um, obviously, I do it as responsibly as I can. But it's really funny because sometimes they're the toxicos. They're the toxicas. They're the ones who have it all wrong. And they need to hear that. 
Like, oh, como de, hey, este vato me está cagando el palo, pero like, nah, it's your... It's you, it's yeah, you, it's all you, girl. <laughs> like, calm down. Yes. Y a veces, otra cosa, like, que me encanta de lo que hago es that, um, I guess, growing up, not feeling like, um, re muy respaldada or heard or like I would always have to find answers for myself like I felt like okay you know what I get to do this for other people and I know I've had like uh, people in the Christian community that will occasionally reach out to me and they'll be like you know okay we, we get it this this is probably a phase or something you're going through oh, okay, but okay. yeah they'll be like pero pues es que um, you know like think about it that's why I'm like look you know God works in mysterious ways si él dijo un día, pues, sabes, vas a pasar por esto and just, you know, do what you can with it. That's me. That's my theory. That's how I feel. Um, that I have the privilege to talk to people of all ages, talk to people of all types of communities, of backgrounds and stuff, and they actually have that respect for me. Because you can be just anybody, you know. Uh, es como, vamos a suponer, um, viene tu, tu hermano uh, tu mamá, ¿verdad? Conmigo. And I tell them something that you've probably told them a hundred times. But because it's coming from me and I don't even know them, they're like, oh my God, it's not. Yeah, and, and I'm not saying like I'm the know-it-all. I'm just doing my job, reading what's there, giving them the clarity that I'm being presented with. And it's crazy. And it's like a kind of like a, a really good feeling because I feel like, you know what, like, I feel bad for you, At. You were trying to tell them what they needed to hear, but, you know, they got to at least, I got to at least give them that clarity for them. It's really nice. I mean, I get people of all ages. Y a veces me pongo a pensar así, como que me voy en mi viaje y digo, oh my God, like, I have people that are literally in their 60s. Oh, todavía andan como, they want answers y they, todo. Of course, like, you know, um, of all ages, you know. Y, y de qué agarras como, do you get a lot of, like, love questions, is that the main thing, or like, or do you, como agarras, do you get the good and the bad? Como si everything. dicen, hey, le quiero hacer un amarre a esta persona. I've or, gotten everything, Can you guys. block me from this? Que es lo, como, you take anything of that, like, when you work with everything. Well, here's the thing, I, I do want to say that I do work with everything. But because and what's everything? Everything, well, is este lo bueno, lo malo, okay, okay. and all in between. But because of you know, I'm still a person. I I do my best to make the smartest decision because at the end of the day, I'm in the middle. I'm putting myself. I'm putting my hands in the fire for people sometimes, and. Um, <clears throat> I'll get back to like why it's important for people that do what I do to charge and to do that because there's there's actually a really um, good reason for it. But I'll get back to that right now. Pero lo primero es que sí, he agarrado de todo. Mi mamá también hace de todo. Este, she's a little bit, you know, she has her own personality. She has her own way of, of um, doing things. Um, pero ella... También por medio de he visto muchos tipos de personas y situaciones. Before I started serving, I mean, I don't know if this is a little bit too graphic, but una señora pentecostés, okay, went to my mother begging her, please, I need my daughter-in-law, like, we'll see. I need her gone. I don't care, how much is it? My mom was like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> like, no, absolutely not. And I, I mean, I would have answered the same way. Um, but there are people that will... Quieren hacer daño machine. They'll do it. Yeah. They'll be like, I don't care. Get rid of this person. And si hay gente que si they go with it, that they will do that. Como hay otros... Oh, yeah. They practice Absolutely. the same thing. That will Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. They will so. do it. But it comes at a price. It comes at a big price. Porque and como tu hijita es que te, se ponen en medio de ustedes. ¿verdad? Yeah. And, and there is a few people, very, very few in the U.S. that are legit. Uh, but their price is very heavy because they're putting their hands in the fire. Pero, uy, es que sí está muy feo, está muy feo. Hay de todo, este, you know, I've had mostly clients that come with me that have been harmed spiritually. I have this one client and I care about her so much. She's already become like a, a friend of mine. Y para decirte que esta mujer 
de casualidad, you know, no por tóxica, I'm defending her, but she found her guy's phone, right? And uh, no, I'm defending her, but no, but she found it like where it was not supposed to be. Like, hey, you need your phone. Like, we, oh, okay, okay. he has to be answering it. Like, why would he, why would he leave it there? What's going on? Este, so se le hizo raro, but like, I guess because I mean, I'm always cleansing her, doing other stuff. Pues, en ese instante donde hizo flip el phone, que agarre notificaciones y abre el phone porque it said something weird. She said when she opened it, she saw a video sent to his email from this person doing all these witchcraft on her. Oh, sí. Like, she got, you know, there's a lot of people that wish they had the proof. ¿Y ahí hablaba contigo ella o...? No, no, no. In that video, okay. um, it wasn't me doing witchcraft for her. It was him... Sí, digo, pero she was already your friend. Oh, yeah, she was already oh, my okay, friend. Okay. But, and that's the thing, like, I was cleansing her, trying to help her. I, would t I was telling her, hey, like, this is not a good guy. You know, uh, protejate, like, por favor, este, you know, slow, como algo yo presentía como no lo cortes así, nada más slowly, because, you know, mm -hmm. he's not, his vibe is not giving me, like, de que si te va, no, hombre, pues puede pasar algo. A ver pedo, a ver pedo. Sí, entonces, you know, pasó eso, and she's like, oh my God, I have proof of that he's been doing harm to me spiritual, like with these videos I found. I also have a way to get out of this situation ship, mm -hmm. and I cannot believe, you know, the extremities that this man went to to tie me down. And, I, and I'm talking like, it was ugly, like, como brujería ya con santeros. And, and those, they use animals, they use a lot of blood, they use a lot of organs, like animal organs mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it was just bad. And ha, ha, have you used animals? Yes. See? Si? Yes. What's, what kind? Um, I've used goats and black chickens. Oh, si. And what do you use? Pa que se usan? Like for a range of things or are they specific for there something? There are specific things. Oh, and I've actually also used um, pigs. I mean, if you saw a lot of things, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah. <laughs> este, pero lo que pasa es que los animales, como yo los uso, because I try to, like, generalize myself spiritually to kind of fit into as many energy fields possible. And by, by that, I mean, que si esa persona a quien la estoy ayudando, they're being attacked by santería, they're being attacked by this, whatever it is, what I do still clears it out because I'm trying to just you know get um a full range of things in that one thing i'm doing and with these animals that i use have been mainly to cleanse people to kind of like put that you know animal in the middle of whatever's being done to them como un este a vessel si esa persona está atacada you know what hey let's let's exercise that out let's pull it out of them here's this animal Oh, you transfer it to the animal, yes. and then you kill the animal, and you kill the yes. whatever is going They've on. They've died by themselves. Oh, for us? Um, it's been, I think I can count, like, there's maybe been a, a few times where it won't die, which is a big red flag, because, it's you know. It's a strong. It's a strong, it could be a demon, it could be a very dark spirit, um, or like a very, just a strong entity, pero se han I've seen this um, not in person but I saw it in a movie called Drag Me to Hell I don't know if oh, you've seen no, it no I haven't they have a goat y there's this demon they try to get rid of and they can't so le pasan el demon al goat and then they have yes. to chop the head off but even like that el demon, no. it was yeah, so strong yeah it's still gonna home. be out yeah there's times there's one uh, muchacha and she's this was like about I want to say three years ago she's very beautiful and uh, very beautiful But she got involved with a very heavy guy. And that man's wife found out. And she's with very heavy santeros. She was dying. She was, oh. this muchacha was just dying. They, she went, this is very common. You hear the, estoy enfermo. Me siento que me muero. Este, la está pesa. Y voy al doctor. No saben qué No rollo. sale nada. Nothing comes out. And um, it's, Sometimes it's very strong spiritual attacks. And this muchacha se estaba muriendo, like, no comía, y así, y ahí así le tuve que hacer, like, three days consecutively, uh, back to back, with animals to try to pull all those things out of her. Ella lo que tenía eran muertos. 
So it was like people like us that once lived and they're bargained with and they're sent to do the person's bidding. Oh, see? Si? Yeah. So, and that's done to Santeria, okay? Santeria, and then what the gringos call it, they call it guides, they call it spirit guides. Pero yo, como he estudiado y observado eh, la espiritualidad, todos tenemos muertos, todos tenemos guías espirituales, whatever you want to call it, este, but they're always around us at all times. They, they could be ancestors, it could be your grandma, it could be your grandpa, it could be a brother, um, a family member. It could be somebody, like a spirit, just roaming around in this world that un día compadece contigo con tu situación. And you just broke up with your girl, and you know, you're just driving around middle of the night, and this muertito's like, hey, I feel you. I'm gonna tag along with you. I'm gonna give you some advice, <laughs> you know? Subconsciously, okay. Yeah. Uh huh. And a lot of people are not awake to it. And that's why they say, hey, you no creo nada. And you know what? You know, ignorance is bliss. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's okay. But a lot of times, ay, es que presiento y esto y que lo otro. Or, you know what, man? I have a bad feeling. Or, nah, I'm not crazy. I feel this. Nah, because they're awake. And, <laughs> and like, only como yo, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, so, like, I don't really get into all that. Pero I have, like, como I hear my dad. Like, mm -hmm. I've heard him a couple of times. My dad passed away. I, it was something that hit me very heavy to this day. And like, I've always had, like, a, him in the back of mind. Yeah. Tenis, so I've heard him, like, several times. Like, even his cry. Like, okay. Like, this, like, como, and he had a very specific voice. Como mi papá tenía la voz bien ronca. Okay. Como, oh, you know. Yeah. Or he would play, cuando se pegaba, he would play and go, like, ay, 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 ay. And mm -hmm. he had, like, a specific voice. That's. I've heard that cry. Okay. You know what I mean? And I've heard, pero cuando yo lo oigo, I don't harp on it. I don't trip. I'm not like, You're I like, just, I just like, como I keep going. Like it's there. I keep going and, and I just look como lo tiro al león. Yeah. ¿Me entiendes? So, is, uh, what I'm asking is like, if, if I trip on it, if I'm like, where is it? Where is it? Or try to, does that, does that like. Would that affect you? Yeah. Like, does, is that me opening Yes. Something, or, pero cuando le hago como, ah, okay, whatever. I heard it. It's probably him, pero no, tiro al and I just keep working. That's me not letting it in, ¿verdad? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and categorize this in three ways. One way is that, you know, that's good that you just kind of like put it aside because um, sometimes there are... Pero I'm conscious that I hear it. Yes. También. No me da o pendejo, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but sometimes there'll, there'll be spirits, evil spirits that know us that follow us, they hear things, así como los uh, muertos, mm. ¿verdad? Um, cosas malas, and they'll try to pull you in. Oh, hit you where it hurts, como saben que, yeah. okay. And then another thing is that, you know, either you're probably going through something um, that is probably similar to what that family member is going through, and they just want to connect with you. And this is something very common that actually happens to my little brother because my dad did also pass away and uh he'll be going through something and it's like oh my god he starts feeling it but it's 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 that connection and then the third is just that you know you probably still have some psychological things that need to be dealt with and um you know our family members our past loved ones you know they they watch us they're there and sometimes they just want us to kind of like Like, if things were not great, if things were, if there was something that, you know, they didn't tell you or like that before they passed away, um, like, hey, do something about it. Like, you're going to be fine, you know? Um, pero, sí, o sea, it, that's good. Get, like, you just let it go. I mean, as long as you, you're comforted and you feel okay, like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but it's my dad. I mean, just try to always be positive about it i kind of like worry about the people that you know try to find the answers and yeah no, because they can really go into um a deep hole that sí, sí. is totally something else yeah they're tripping themselves out yes. i think pretty much see sí, see sí. um because i mean apart from like my dad I, be, i see and i hear of other people that tell me too that they hear And I've even seen on, on TikTok that, that, I don't know, some might be fake, but I've heard this a lot, that you might be in a house and you'll hear your partner or somebody call you or hear your, your name, like, hey, 
a, and okay no one, and, like, and no. that's exactly what i meant like there could be spirits that are either following you if you have brujeria they're probably like just trying to find ways to get to you or if just you're just really charged negatively and let's say you enter that space and there's enough negative charges there as well you know it's a portal that wants to be activated to pull you in okay because i heard this was in um in the appalachian mountains so when they're called skinwalkers so is do, have you heard that or supieras so, so like why in some regions happens more than others is it because there's a i feel in my opinion again because um i'm i've been learning so much and i learn every new things every single day but a lot of the times different locations have portals already open from thousands hundreds of years ago and it, it becomes literally like a portal for things or it could be a thousand years ago a hundred years ago two three hundred years ago an event happened there something happened there it stays there you know it's in the ground and that's why certain things happen it's like a house that's haunted you can literally build something new mm -hmm. it's still gonna be haunted yeah you know it's the energy that stays there sí, and it's just the physical material whatever that lo demás es spiritual it's it's no, como it's ya not, like cuando hablas hablan también como de los aztecas de los mayans mm -hmm. y todo pues es lo mismo hay en ellos vivieron ahí por eso hay la energía que hay ahí este si vas a because they used to have a lot of shamans to remember that back uh -huh. in the day uh, todo eso or si vas a como se llama a new orleans aquí en estados oh, yeah. unidos la energía se siente ¿por qué? porque existen cosas que ahí están abiertos todavía y han estado si vas a Massachusetts ahí estaba la quemazón de las brujas ahí está algo todavía y eso no se va los witch trials ¿verdad? the Salem the witch Salem trials, trials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. ¿quieres, quieres agarrar water? ya yeah, sí, me quita water. Water. ice I didn't even know I was going to tell you that about my dad, Neta. Like, no, it's actually funny you say that. No, me salió because that, that I've, but I'm very like that, like I, I leave it no, to the, the side. No, this salió because my, the, that came out because my dad's telling me hi. Oh, see. Do he passed so? away today. Today? Three years ago. Oh, for us? My dad said hi. <laughs> no, pues saludos. Yep. That's what I thought was funny when you said that. I was like, oh. I didn't, I didn't know I was going to tell you that. It's just the most, maybe not a mente because, because I don't really, como te digo, I don't investigate that. I don't go on that trip. No. And, um, it's not for everybody. Yeah. Y si me ha tocado jales, like, como, a veces si me ha tocado que, like, there's only one time that I really got, como te digo, there's, no más hay una vez que si, I really got, like, como. Un susto. Not susto, but I, I, I was waiting because I heard like come on my door, like come on, people talking, like, and I thought somebody was stealing my car. Oh shit! So when I did that, I woke up and I was asleep. Like I just woke up and I started hearing like, I, I got up real slowly because I didn't want him to hear me. Yeah. I got up real slowly. I was and like just waiting because I, I actually thought there was somebody. Like trying to that get, was gonna come in yeah so i was like oh, okay this is like <laughs> that's like their time to shine like yeah, I, 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 I want you to come in and then it's come i've been waiting for this shit and try this, me <laughs> see, and um and i could hear I, could, I couldn't hear what they were saying i just hear like really? i always leave my keys in the car because I'm because that's a nine row whatever I always leave them there. Yeah. I don't even lock nothing. Entiendes? Y, um, so dije aquí van a entrar esto y no nah. nada y luego pues salí y nada 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 nada. That was the only time que sí me levanté y que dije like, sí como, pero a veces también este todo eso eh, carga cosas con it, like dirty things carry dirty things sí, sí. with them. I get all kinds of clients and I tell them, cleanse your stuff, man. Cleanse your money. Because yeah. también el papá de mis kids, I would have to tell them, hey, just, get, 
50. And what do you clean? How do you cleanse them? Este, a veces, you know, if you're not protected, you know, you could some like have something to wash your hands with, like when you grab things or, you know. Um, Does it have to be something that you? It could be so blessed basic. or something, or it can it just be. You can get something prepared for you, or you could just simple things like te lava las manos con canela, con sal, con oh, okay. hierbas, con romero. Like, because a veces la gente te paga de mala gana y te salen. O te dan las cosas arrebatadas o te dan cosas robadas. No, sí, sí. So that shit, it carries stuff with them. Así le pasó a uh, un cliente mío. Tenía guardado muchas cosas y empezaba a quebrarse muchas cosas en su casa. Los focos, los abanicos. Le dije, saca, se murieron. Sácalo porque todo, te, está bien salado todo ese pedo. Sí. Sácalo. Pues, y um, ahorita que estás hablando de santería, what is, what is santería? Santería is kind of like, santería is like a, a very extended type of Catholicism, like catol, catol, o sea, lo, mm. lo católico, because technically a long, many years ago, and I'm still learning about, because it's, it's called Yoruba. So I'm still learning about it, and you know, back then los, the slaves and everything they tried to kind of like infuse their belief systems into the saints. Like, for example, el Egua es el Santo Niño de Atocha. Este, el, uh, you know, Shun is um, la Virgen de Caridad. So they would do that, and pretty much. They just incorporate a lot of the similar things that the Catholic Church does and believes and stands by, but they're more strict about it because there's more like devotion con los santos that they go by. Como que they literally give life to these saints, you know, and um, sacrifice so many things. I feel like it's like Catholic plus, 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 plus. But... How can it be Catholic when Catholic, no se da, when Catholic is religious, it's one just like for God and stuff, but no, then you're doing Catholic like... Catholic is, is it's a, I'm telling you, I've, I've been learning a lot. El cató, like, lo católico, hay santos. Mm -hmm. A la Virgen, sí, sí, sí. Da, hay santos. Supo right? You're, uh, technically, you can pray to the saints to be like in the middle to help you with God be right with God, right? So what do you think these santos in the Yoruba are trying to help their yajados with to be right with God? It's like, it's similar. The only thing is que si te pones a pensar back in the days, back, 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 back in the days, Catholics would sacrifice people. Oh, see, si, they were, yeah. yeah. Christians, they, I mean, todos, todos, everybody. everybody yeah. The only difference is that the Yoruba are doing it through animals because they don't believe in doing that with their people. You know, the, it, there's a lot of similarities with so many religions. Sí, sí. The only difference is that they try to like demonize Santeria because of the sacrificing, because of the fact that they are um, also allowing like witchcraft to be done. But there's witchcraft in, any, in everything. It's por, just called different. Por yeah. ejemplo, si tú le rezas a San Judas y andas haciendo algo que no debes, pues qué brujería es esa? Le estás pidiendo a un santo que no es Dios que te ayude a hacer algo que no debes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> As I'm like, really? Este, so, I mean, it's, it's just a lot of people get confused because it's normal to be afraid of something you don't understand. Sí, sí, sí. And, how, and where does the Santísima Muerte fit in all that? So, La Santísima Muerte is a very, very, very special um, deity to me because I grew up with it around, regardless of where I was at in my life, you know, it was always there. And that's also another very, very long story of my life. Um, pero lo que pasa es que con La Santísima, um, which is originally like um you know from deep mexico um people needed somebody like um, there's like a legend right but just to not make it that long 
she was around to help people kind of like San Judas, verdad? Like in momentos de, de desespero, pero like this deity to not discriminate. You know, people felt discriminated. And until this day, you know, there's people that feel discriminated by the church. They feel discriminated by so many things that they want, they need the help or, and you know, and technically, pues la Santa Muerte agarra de todo. You know, aga, recibe de todo a como yo he practicado. And people are scared of it because they say, ay, que eso, y, y, y nomás, nomás la siguen o son devotas de a porque quieren embrujar a la gente o quieren salir con la suya. Y sabes que, at the end of the day, you can literally carry a Bible in your purse and still try to manipulate and get your way. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. I mean, I'm very ashamed that people think that they can get their way, like, because they, obviously they come to me and they ask me to help them with certain things and um, try to help them the best way that I can. Uh, but it, it's in everything. And with the Santa Muerte, um, you know, the reason why I kind of like leaned more into her was for the same reason, because I there was some very desperate situations that I found myself in. And, um, you know, it was just very... It just felt good to me. Así como te había dicho previously, you know, you gotta feel calm, you gotta feel at ease. And it was like I understood. And, you know, years passed. And I'm, you know, able to kind of like tell people that, hey, look, you know, the Santisma is like your tia, like your favorite tia, right? And let's say your mom says no. No, mijo, ya, yeah, deja estar fregando. No, 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 no. So you go to your tia, and you're like, tia, help me. Like, bueno, te voy a ayudar. Pero si te va mal, y te, ni modo. I, y no ligas a tu mamá. Y, y no, uh. yeah, <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Pero así va a pasar, and you're gonna, you know, it is what it is. I'll, I'll give you what you want. I'll put what you're asking for right there. But you're gonna have to... Deal with the consequences. Deal with the consequences. Exactly, deal with the consequences. And it's funny because she's very giving. Like, and I think she even, like, me personally, like, I, I see her, like, she thinks it's funny. I think she thinks it's funny because people will ask for the dumbest things. Okay. And then people don't get confused why they deal with so many consequences. But it's because she's just so giving. Like, le encanta chiflar a la gente, pero la vez, find a way for them to learn their lesson and grow out of it. Va, van a pagar el precio, ¿eh? por, por, yeah. Por lo que and at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of people who do, you know, do the right thing in any religion, you know, you, you grow up, you learn a lot. I've seen people that are devotas con la muerte and, you know, they might, and uh, I guess it gets a bad rep because a lot of people do all kinds of bad things and, you know, tienen acá la santísima tatuada o lo que sea or whatever. But um, me personally, I just want to like advocate for those people because they just feel discriminated and so many other it's like ah, pues no. it's mi tía no es la única que me acepta you know así es la yeah, única yeah. que me quiere es la única que me escucha and I'm not saying that ay porque mucha gente dice ay pues entonces no crees en Dios porque estás poniendo otros ídolos en frente de ti I'm not gonna ask God that you know I need help with this guy <laughs> I'm not gonna ask God like hey I'm doing this I'm not supposed to like help me out you know I need somebody in the middle to I guess, let me burn my hand and then I'll learn from there. But at the end of the day, God's will is always going to be the one that's going to be like right there. At the end of the day. Por eso, este, hay, um, las personas que son devotos de verdad dicen, you know, primero, um, I forgot the exact same, but, you know, first it's God. And then, pues, lo que la Santísima permite, pero lo que Dios mande at the end of the day. Okay, okay. Sí, porque casi no se ve nada de eso. No. Yeah, it's because it gets a bad rep. Like and what's really the bad. I've seen like it was of course I've seen it uh, camaradas, you know it's around a lot what's the difference cuando miras una negra una roja una blanca yeah because like, they have their different meanings and I mean por ejemplo la negra I know a lot of people are scared they're like oh my god mi la santísima negra no if you're doing something you're not supposed to then I would be a little concerned yeah. <laughs> but um, you know the black you know it's la justicia divina you know, protección, este, and digo justicia divina because a lot of people use the black santísima to harm or to hurt people. 
Um, but it's like I said, you know, okay, I'm going to hurt this person because you insist, you don't stop insisting. But when the consequences come and if that person manages to like get that sent back. And how does the Santissima or whoever choose say you want to harm somebody, uh, use the Santissima, but that person is already blocking it. Okay, so yeah, like, uh, who does he choose or what? And andale, I've I've had that happen a lot where because and even in my situation, personal situation, like um, I've been confronted with people who have trying to harm me. Actually, I have, I have scars in this arm, but I'm wearing like a long sleeve. Pero hicieron daño a mí muy fuerte para que yo me, you know, mm-hmm. not be here con la muerte negra, verdad? Pero pues yo también tengo esa protección. And like how you said, how does she choose? Well, it's very difficult because at the end they, ¿quién somos nosotros como personas? Like, en nuestra integridad. Like, who we are behind the scenes. Like, who we genuinely are. That's why at the, um, at the end of the day, I've explained to many people, be authentic, be genuine, be honest with yourself. You can lie to whoever you want, pero be honest with yourself because Todo lo espiritual te ve, te está viendo, and it's all around you at all times. So if you don't walk the walk, talk, talk consequences, you know? Sí, sí, sí. So how does that, how is, um, how does she choose? Well, who walks the walk and talks the talk? Who is who? So, está bueno. Eh, por ejemplo, en mi ejemplo, esta persona me hizo mucho daño. Y logró lo que quería. Lo logró. Because um, I bled out. I accidentally cut my arms. It was, it, yeah, the artery. Uh, you know, era para que in nine min- less than my, nine minutes only. Y eso que estaba caminando y todo, they still took me to the EM, like on the EMT to the emergency and then to the general hospital because I had to operate. Este, esa persona logró lo que quería. I was supposed to be gone. But this is what happened because I'm also protected with her and also because I feel like God knows it's not my time. But because I have that protection with the Santissima, okay, let me take that receipt, that bill, like after when you go eat and you get the bill, well, her bill came. She got what she wanted. All right, a cobrarle atrás. And hopefully she's on her best behavior because se va a devolver a medida como ella se está portando como persona. Sí, como dicen todo lo que da, everything, comes everything back. goes around. And I and I get people that get upset or confused when I try to tell them, well, it's because sometimes the bad guy is going to get away. The bad guy is going to find a way to get away with what they're doing. Mm-hmm. And only go, and they'll be like, "Ay, pero es que cómo o por qué Dios está permitiendo que esto me pase?" Look, you know, maybe you need to work on yourself. A lot of times people need to work on themselves and grow up. A lot of times other people need to find deeper meaning and m- be more grateful in order for like things to work out for them. So, hay tantas cosas en la espiritualidad that I feel that people would really benefit from understanding and you could honestly just find yourself being protected from almost anything if you just have um, you know, a, a good mindset, a good head on your shoulders. You know, I, I, I've met with people, santeros, I mean, people who even pray to, you know, Satan and all these things. And, um, you know, they're just people. And they, ha- they have kids, they have a family. And it's who you are as a person that makes whatever you're doing real at the end of the day. Como dices tú, how do you find somebody legit y todo? Okay, pues... Who are they as a person? También, mm-hmm. lo primero. ¿Quién son ellos? Y no, y no estoy hablando de que, que carro manejan, pues, si tienen una bonita casa. ¿Qué corazón tienen? ¿Qué soul tienen? Oyes, ¿verdad? ¿Qué que, que tan ordenados tienen? son como persona? Porque más que nada, eh, la orden es muy importante. La orden, because they could have a nice car, but maybe they're behind on three payments mm-hmm. or they could have a nice house and they haven't even paid it for a whole year. Um, they could be wearing the nicest clothes and they're like a really crappy person, you know? And the reason why I bring that up is because, you know, it's sad that 
people don't realize how simple things in life actually let you go far. Tú no tienes que creer o prender velas para todo. En, en dado ocasión, si hay personas que ya han, que están cargando con brujerías de antecedentes from their past or it's just something that's been running in the family and you know they're they're they meet with people like me pero mira si limpias tu casa tiras la basura este tienes tu carro limpio you pay your bills you speak nice to people take care of your kids you're already protecting yourself like that's like the first thing you want to do pues hay gente que prenden velas, le pagan a santeros, pagan a brujos, llegan a la casa, engañan, golpean a la vieja, no cuidan a los huercos. Sí, sí, sí. Yeah, I know what you mean. Como todo eso se acaba. life no vale verga, y, pero... Y todo eso know. se acaba. And this is something that también estaba platicando con un santero. Este, porque, no que nos estábamos burlando, pero digo, oye, ¿por qué se van a quejar cuando la religión o cuando lo espiritual o las brujerías salen caros, si sí, cuando uno les trata de dar, ha pasado mucho, les trata de dar un consejo bien. No lo agarran. No lo agarran. And, he, and what happens, I, bueno, pues son tanto, es tanto, to clean up your mess, because you obviously don't want to do it on your own. You're putting our hands in the fire for you. And that's why tenemos que cobrar. Hay sentados que cobran mil, dos mil, tres mil dólares, pero porque hay gente que en verdad la están cagando. They need it, como this. La están cagando, and like I said, todo lo malo comes at a price. So, ¿qué pasa esa gente? Tienen que pagar bastante brujería, bastante protección. Oh, I know, the funniest one and most common. Cuando una pareja se quiere reconciliar, and they find out again, oh, ah, es que te vi volando con una vieja, después de que el amarre o lo que sea, verdad, funciona la reconciliación. Que hablan. Ay, es que vio que estaba mensajeando. Pues mira, dijiste que querías estar con ella y luego todavía estás, sigues con tus cosas. No, te va a costar lo doble porque hay que bajarle el coraje y también a ti quitarte lo caliente y para que se reconcilie. Bonito una de esas. Ah, <laughs> no, hombre, but it's a thing like it comes at a price. Oye, y um, hablando de las velas y todo eso. What's the difference de cuando miras la flame bien grande a cuando no quiere prender o está bien chiquita la flame? Uh, cuando no quiere prender la vela es es because you know whatever it could be whatever you're asking for is not something that's gonna work out for you or there's a lot of blockages for you to get there o hay muchas personas energías que no quieren que tú tengas eso mucha envidia te has cargado tú tú la persona que lo estás prendiendo no tienes suficiente energía como para que se te pueda velar lo que está tu petición lo que estás pidiendo when it's really high um, it could also be for two reasons it could be that whatever you're asking for is gonna you know it's gonna move quickly for you or um, there's a lot of things that are quickly going to be pushed out of the way for you so that you can get the, get what you're asking for You know, but it's gonna be a lot of things being pushed out of the way. Now, if it breaks, if it cracks, or if it's super black, I always get that question. Si está super negra, pero no se quiebra, well, pues, you probably need more help. You probably need something stronger than a candle or just turn something, turn another one on. Si se hace crack, well, there is a lot, a lot of things up against whatever it is you're asking for that it's far, like it's really far from you. Yeah. Son cositas así, lo más, lo más común. Yo sé que mucha gente prende melas así como para la virgen, que están juditas y se les quiebre, ¿no? Pues es que en todo, a quien sea, a quien le estés pidiendo. Mm. So, hubo una temporada que yo la verdad estaba muy fuerte, tenía bastante fuerza. Porque, mm -hmm. you know, I... Uh, Also have to take care of my health. That's another simple thing that people can do to protect themselves. Be healthy as possible. It drains you what when you watch what you eat. You know, I, I have to. Tengo que comer bien, estar sana, because también, como dicen, el cuerpo es el templo. Tienes que cuidarlo para que todo lo que entra y sale, you know, vaya bien. Sea energía, sea lo que sea. Este, pero un tiempo que estuve súper fuerte, me sentía súper bien. 
como cosa de adrede me llegaron muchos casos de personas que me pidieron trabajos muy pesados, muy fuertes, trabajos negros. And, um, en uno, uno de ellos era de una mujer que le hizo brujería a mi clienta y a su marido para que se separaran. Pero, you know, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, pues, how do you know? You just read cards, like, where's the proof? But honestly, you know, I know what I saw y lo que sentí. Um, y esa, esa mujer, y como pasaron las cosas, esa mujer le hizo cosas para que técnicamente eh, ella y su niño fallecieran. Oh, for real? And, and when I told her this, um, you know, from when I was reading, she started bawling and crying. She's like, I literally... Um, had a cancer scare or whatever and but she tenía como uh, cosas cancerosas en, en su cuerpo but she had she did like a light I guess a chemo I don't know what it's called pero pasó por muchas cosas para que se le saliera eso del cuerpo and uh, her her son was very very sick for a long time and un día el esposo se enfadó y just left they don't want her they don't want to take care of her because she was so sick se fue con esa mujer okay. otro caso este it was like everything just came at the end otro caso este which is really 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 sad era que esta persona um, tenía era muy envidiada tenía mucha envidia de la familia de de su pareja este la suegra la cuñada siempre le vivían haciendo bastantes cosas bastantes, pero mira, bien descaradas, o sea, hasta le decían, ojalá y whatever, y esto y esto que te pase o lo que sea, este, porque querían que él se dejara, ¿verdad? They had nice trucks, nice everything. Pues the little boy gets in an accident. No, no falleció el niño, pero he got in an accident. You know, pega donde más te duele a veces la brujería. Sí, porque se te vino para atrás. Y si se pararon. Oh, sí. Porque pleitos, ah, es que tú no cuidaste al niño y que esto y que el otro y por eso está malo y que, pum, diga what they want you know? muy triste eh, esta otra persona que enamoró a mi, a mi clienta este, la enamoró like real scary, así como like the, salen las movies que las enamoran y todo y, pero by brujería o just no, 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 just, ándale and turns out he was, he had this whole double life And when she found out, instead of like discutiendo, reclamando, like he literally beat her up and left her unconscious. Damn. And I like, se me juntaron tantos, and there's more, but mira, se juntaron tantas cosas, y dije, okay. So, hice un ritual, este, que se hace con la cabeza de un cerdo, right? There's a lot of um, symbolism, <laughs> you know? Y el puerco, I don't know if you guys know this, but Um, I think it's in the Bible also. Like, l technically, porks are the closest type of DNA as a human. You know, just uh, just FYI. Mm -hmm. Este, so I use the head. You know, I dejo que se descongele porque los venden descong así congelados en la tienda. So dejo que se descongele. Le, I have to grab like um, some um, unas. I forgot what it's called, but some pinzas, whatever. Open the mouth. Se meten las fotos de las personas y cosas así. Obviamente, trato de cuidar mucho mi mente, lo que digo, porque un trabajo de esos y con los demás ingredientes que le he hecho a esas personas les puede pasar algo muy feo. Uh -huh. Ahora, the reason why it takes a lot of me to really, really approve this type of work is because, you know, I'm putting my hands in the fire for something for whatever needs to happen to happen. Otras personas van, no, que te pase esto, que te pase el otro, que bla, 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 ¿verdad? Yo, personalmente, cuando voy, este, literal, ya cuando ando enterrando lo que ando enterrando, mira, si, you know, Dios, los guías, los muertos son mis testigos. Ustedes escuchan, vieron, saben cosas que a lo mejor no alcanzo ver todavía. Entonces, que pase lo que tenga que pasar. Pero esto que se hizo ya está hecho. ¿Qué pasa? Down the line. La, la muchacha, este, que, la primera que te dije. She's locked up. She's in jail. Ok, porque se agarró a golpes con el muchacho. 
with, con la esposa de mi clienta. Okay. And uh, they took her daughter away. CPS. So todo se le cayó el pedo. Oye, si le estás haciendo daño a un, a un niño inocente, pues they took away. Think about it. Sí, no, God tal, was sí. like, girl, you were capable of doing that to a child. Let's take your child away. No, ma'am. You know? Este, este otro que, you know, I know. The pues, and when you, disculpa, when you, um, ponle que tú haces algo para alguien, ¿verdad? And what did you say? You buried it? Yes. In the ground, okay? Yes. Okay, when you bury it, ya está hecho. There's no backing out. No. Can you, como que si viene el cliente y dice, no, siempre no. Siempre oh, no. That, that rarely happens. And the reason is because I explain every single detail before I do anything. Mm -hmm. I've even talked women out of doing amarres. <laughs> Por lo mismo, because les me gusta explicarles bien. You know, las consecuencias, what you can expect, and, and all that stuff, pero, yeah. So once it's done, it's done. It's done. Now, a lot of the time, puede que esa persona esté protegida, se mm -hmm. esté limpiando seguido, puede que everybody's different, from one to ten, le pega un tres, un cuatro, esa persona, este, no le pega al cien, you know, because they're constant with their stuff, because they're aware that they're not, doing something good so por eso se andan protegiendo o sea, you know, la mm -hmm. conciencia este como te había dicho they do their messes yeah, yeah, so yeah. they're just constantly paying to clean up their their stuff so say somebody como somebody like me or whatever que I don't I, I, como te digo I just whatever, like si alguien me hace algo a mí can it affect me even though I'm not like como I don't invite that or I'm not in that no I don't take it to ¿me entiendes? Yes. I don't go like me están haciendo esto, let me go. Let I'm going to tell you something just... I've, I've said to many people. You know what happens to bubbles when they get close to each other? They become one. Okay. So if enough bubbles around us, mm -hmm. you know, here in the valley, vamos a decir, believe in this, it becomes real. But as we said, you know, and this is so funny, but you know, when, um, if you've seen Peter Pan, Where they're like, oh, Tinkerbell, like she's dying. Sí, 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 sí. You know, we have to say we believe. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Because it's because entre más fuerza. You're giving it for, le estás you, dando. Le estás dando. Pero por eso digo, fuerza. como yo, I don't, yo no lo con ella. Like, I'm very, con mi chavalo, that's it. I'm more, Las energías like, como quiera nos afectan. They're afecta. still around. They're still around. Even if you're not. So, brujería can affect literally almost anybody. But that's why I mentioned que si tú te cuidas con lo más sencillo, energéticamente, you're already putting a border, you know, you're already putting something in, up front to protect you. But do I have to go to somebody like you to protect myself, or can I just myself mentally, like, como, you know what, I, you know, este jale no lo voy a dejar, you know what I mean? You this, can do it on you your know own. What I, mean? like, como, I feel like just, people that do it on their own and they learn to do it on their, on, on their own, it's like, you know, You know, go for it. But without saying, like, certain things or reading cards. Just, like, myself, man. Como te digo, yo no creo yeah. nada de eso. I, don't, I just, myself, I'm always very positive. Like, I'm, I know it exists, whatever, but it's not in my realm. And I keep going with my day. Yeah, you know that's I mean? good. Like, I, I always think like that. In every way, in the good and in the bad. It's and, and, and that's the way I wish more people would be like that. More s confident, more secure with themselves. Because mm -hmm. that's everything. You know? Um, you know, if you tell yourself, like... I don't want this, then that's good. Le estás, el, el universo te está escuchando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you know? Yeah. That's, I, be, I believe, por ejemplo, like, I believe in all that, ¿me entiendes? So, do you believe in, como soulmates? Yes. Como, if there's a person for you, como que, because there's some persons that you click with, que, it's, it's. There's soulmates, there's twin flames, there's all that. What's twin flame? Bueno, I know, yo también. Hace poco, es que bueno, yo con las personas que yo conocí son más estilo mexicano. Mm -hmm. Y yo cuando entré al TikTok, conocí a otras personas más este light seekers y que esto y que el otro. Y me like, ¿qué? I'm like, oh, you mean this, but obviously They have a different Mexican. Name. Sí, 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 sí. <laughs> you know? Este, entonces, like, they'll be like third party person. I'll be like, Ah, o sea, la querida, la amante, like, oh. But, no, the thing is that, este, I know, it's just very. Pero el twin flame que, que es. Uh, it's very annoying. I think it's annoying. Why? What is it? Because people, like, uh, get confused about, I, I get annoyed of the confusion. 
Soulmates exist, but I wish more people understood that a soulmate can literally be your child. Mm -hmm. It could be your grandpa. It could be your best friend. Porque son personas que en algún antecedente, en algún pasado, they related to you. They were a part of your family. They son como almas gemelas. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, son personas que en verdad se sienten... So it's not really a romantic... No. I feel like, like people add couple romance thing. With. No. Your dog can be your soulmate. Okay. Literally. Okay? Like, es alguien o una persona animal that gives you the peace that makes you feel complete when you're with them oh yes before we leave I wanted to ask you the glasses que me dijiste que they protect you yeah like in in, in, in what way because yo te pregunto because I, I always use glasses night day I always have them on para decirte que cuando los clientes me piden un trabajo les digo mándame una foto pero sin lentes. Y no, nunca has escuchado, and, and that's because when I was in, in Christian school, mm -hmm. I actually met some African persons and, you know, from Africa, mm -hmm. and they were Christian. And, and um, I remember, long story short, they were laughing about how hay un dicho que siempre dicen, don't take their picture because, oh, okay. because you're heard. capturing their soul. And you lose a part of it every time you take a picture. Yes. Algo, and, and the thing is that And is that in the eyes or what? Yes. The eyes are the windows to the soul. You've never heard that? Ay, calmate. Yeah. Eso lo voy a decir una grosa. Es como una... Yeah. Cae, como una <laughs> love quote, ¿verdad? Eh? Pero, no. Es, es bueno los lentes. Sí. You know, yo, por ejemplo, like when I've gone on TikTok, whoop, sí, por sí, I need them to see because the comments are small. Um, you know, for example, like, I wear this. I have other necklaces. I, I wear my glasses. Because there are some bad people out there yeah, yeah, and yeah. they have really bad evil eye or they're literally trying to or they're just carrying all this negative energy and they you know, want to transfer it to you they want to transfer, transfer, it to, you, they that that transfer to you by looking at your eyes yeah no por lo bueno que I don't you you probably won't find one picture of me without glasses oh, but okay. um bueno, um, uh, I, I, like, I love you have you back. We can get more in detail. Yeah, I mean, um, it's because the thing is that this, the what I do, you know, it's 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 a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is. It's a lot to just talk about us. Real quick. But I, I wanted you to come back to the Conoscan van. We can get to know you a little uh, touch base. Y a la otra que venga, da, we can speak more in detail about one subject. Yes, no vamos, da. I mean, you can come as many times as you want. Me tienes y. Uh, we'll go from them, pero gracias por venir. Okay. And we love having you. Yes, thank uh, you for having me. Anywhere they can um, they can find you? Um, well, I have my uh, TikTok and I have Snapchat. I know I sound real old school, <laughs> but it's for the same thing. Like I've I don't want to open too many social media platforms right now okay. because um, I get a lot of messages. Okay, okay. You know, so it gets. It, and it's okay. Like I, I, I try to get to everybody as in a timely manner, but por lo mismo, porque yo sé que se siente cuando estás quieres hablar con alguien nunca te contestan. <laughs> but yeah, I have the same username. It's uh, that which I'm, I'm Ruby. M but Ruby? I'll, yeah, I'll. Okay, como quiero, we'll put it down here. Pero gracias por venir. Thank you. We love having you. Yes, thank you.